Hey, hey, what's the crack? This is Oliver Kimo, Oliver Kimo Motion Design. And today I'm gonna show you how to animate some type inside of After Effects. So what we're gonna do is write some type. So we need to make a new composition. So if we come over here and go click your project panel, come up here, composition, new composition. I'm just gonna call my composition test. I'm gonna basically make it HD and I'm gonna change my frame rate here to 30. And I'm gonna make my background black my background of my comp black and if you press okay you get your composition right here and what we need to do is basically type some type so type some text or type some whatever you want so if you come up here see to the text tool or if you press ctrl or command t for your shortcut for that text tool here and if you double click it twice you'll see there's a little like little type tab thingy here i don't even know what that name is for that thing but yeah it's like a line for type and we're going to type something okay so we're going to type the word type so t y p e okay you can see already you can't see it what's wrong is my type is black so if you come over here and press your toggle transparency grid you can see it right here so what i'm going to do is highlight all this by left clicking and dragging or if you press command or control a it will highlight it i basically need to make my type larger so see here it says 24 so if you don't see that see right here character you need your character tab you can find character in window character see if you don't see it or go click up here and go all panels and it'll reset your panels at the side and if you click i'm just going to make it Arial because Arial is kind of the standard font everyone has in their machines so i'm just going to go Arial black you can make this type know whatever you want so pick like a font that you want any font that's on your machine it doesn't really matter so we're going to make this larger see it's 24 right now if you drag click and drag it'll make your type larger see and we can see already though your type is kind of getting moved off to the side so if you come over here to align and click align horizontally and then align it vertically as well that's how you line up your type by just using the line panel the line panel comes in really useful for you use that a lot when you're using like character and align together but you can see here paragraph as well i use this a lot so if you click the center see here it says center text i do that a lot as well when i'm doing like typing stuff on so like if i delete this type layer down here on backspace and i come back up to character okay and see it's set on Arial already, so it doesn't matter. And I'm actually gonna change my color of my type to red, okay? And I'll turn back on my background color, can see. But if I come up here, you can also like, you can left click and drag to do type as well. So I go out here, write in type, T-Y-P-E again, and see it's in red. And you can see right now, this is centered. So like a center is your anchor point right there. But I want it to be more centered towards composition. So if you click that one and then click that one, it'll center it up. And if you want to see your your title action safe area, you can see that's bang on in the center right there now. So be conscious of like your type being in the center of the composition. If you want it in the center, no, it's up to you really, you know. But yeah, so you write some type, but now I'm going to show you how to animate it because there's no point writing some text in After Effects without knowing how to, you know, animate it. So if you close the line panel and come up here to effects and presets and come here to animation presets, you can see here it has a bunch of different stuff in here. See here the text one. So if you, if you knock down the text one down here, the arrow and see you animate in, animate out 3D text, you have all these different things. And these basically all relate just to text and type inside of After Effects. So when you use the, the text tool, these basically just work for, for type. So like if you try to drag any of these guys onto like footage, it's not gonna work. It only works with whatever you make with the type tool. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is animate some type in. So see here it says animate in. So if we pop that one down, you can type it on if you want. Typewriter is quite good. So if you double click that, okay. And if you press space bar, so you'll type on your type for you. Well, I don't want that. That's a bit basic, but you can play around with down here. So here says text. And then you have like all these different options. See so like animator. So that animates on an animator. So like, see so it says start. But if you want this to go faster, because you can see there, that's really slow. If that goes really slow. If you come here and just drag back this keyframe and press play. It'll come on faster you know what i mean so what happens straight away is when you click you know the typewriter type on it adds keyframes but you need to just adjust the keyframes because like if you just leave them normally like they are before so if you press ctrl or command z a few times it'll go back to what it was and it was really slow 
you know a lot of this you it adjust the keyframes slightly yourself you know a lot of these animation presets and stuff are just basic but you just need to play around with them yourself to get them perfectly you know the way you want them to look but like i don't want the typewriter so i'm going to remove the typewriter effect so if you press ctrl or command z until it gets rid of your animator see there so see it's gone and i'm going to add in a different one so say like that was typewriter so i'm going to add on something else so i'm going to do drop in by character so if you press double click that it'll add it good thing to know as well is if you come down to your type layer in the timeline and press uu it'll give you, you know, uu is like the best thing to know because then you don't have to keep pressing down these little buttons because if you press u once it'll show you the keyframes but if you press uu twice it'll give you all your information so it'll give you the whole you know trickle down to where the keyframes are so if you press spacebar now see that's coming down from there but it's too slow again so if you come here to your last keyframe click and drag it back and now play it see it'll animate on but one thing to note about this is you can see your type starts still in frame you see and like maybe you want it to drop in from off the frame so if i'm going to just go, go here and just make this back to 100 percent so we can see the top of you know a composition so if you come over here to position see where it says minus these numbers if you drag that back you know keep dragging it back until it goes off your frame your uh, type and now press play see it comes in you know see and like that's a really good thing to know with the position values here because yeah if you keep them standard if you press command z a couple of times yeah it's gonna be you know it's gonna be still on frame so there you go that's like you know showing you how to do that and if you click up here see to the animator and press backspace that removes text animation from your type layer if you don't need it so we're going to clap that one back up again and then we're going to animate in another one with type animation so if we do fade them up and flip you know what i mean there's loads of different ones you know see it's fading up so i press u and one thing to know is you see on my timeline wherever you are with your playhead if you add an effect say here it'll add effect to that section so like always add your effects and your presets to the real start of your comp if i press command z you know it removes that one but if i say right now go fade and flip see it's gonna and press uu uu there you go it'll start at the start you see and then just drag this back and you get your flip see so it'll flip in so yeah there's a lot of different ways and different like type text animations you can add and there's a lot of ones i use myself i use a lot of these text animators but then i alter them in different ways you know because you can slow fade on you can add in straight in by character is probably one of my favorites because if you click that you basically can just get it to slide in and it's kind of like the one from above that i showed you but if you press uu okay you can actually change this animation like quite a lot so you know i'm gonna add see my position back here i'm gonna drag it off screen and see it comes on one by one but i want it to be faster so I'll drag this one back and see it comes on a lot of people use this as well and also you can do it like see right here so this is coming on by character see but what if i wanted to come in by words you can do it by words so you can come in as full word and you can do it by lines lines mean like if you have two like if this was a stack type i come back in here get your text tool and i'm gonna actually type back in here and i'm gonna go enter to get back the line underneath and go t y p e two but you can see nothing's happened because you need to stretch out your your boundary basically of your text block basically so like what happens now is this will come in by line see but you can see my type this one the end one is still on screen so you need to drag this back a bit so see that'll come in as line see and you can see now this is like off center i don't like that so if you come up here to align and go center and center again so you keep using like the character the paragraph and the line together to keep lining up your text because it's really really good thing to know so there you go we got like by line and then yeah you can do characters words whatever you want so like yeah this is going to come back in as characters you see so yeah I would recommend, you know, typing out your name or something like that. Like type out, like for me, of course, it'd be Oliver Keen. Like write in your name and play around with it. And that's actually, honestly, like my animation for the start of this video. That's how this started, you know what I mean? Like I animated type that way, you know, by using type effects and presets and so on, you know? Because you can do some crazy stuff, honestly. It's really good. So if I press UU again and just like remove the animator, see, it'll go back to normal. But if you click on it again and then come up to your effects and presets, come to the text see again and just go animate in and you can also animate out so, so basically i was showing you animate ins but you can actually do animate outs as well so it's the same thing a lot of these are the same i'm just going to expand this window so you can see you can basically like fade out slow raining out characters so like 
come back here to the start of your your comp here and go raining out by character double click that and then when you play it see you get all these like fancy like little animations and so on if you play around with these in different ways so if i press uu on this one okay see so it says mode here subtract you can do like intersect you know and it brings it on in different ways you can do like min and max it's like just a different way of coming on as well and yeah you can just play around with it you know difference and you can also do the opacity you know what, what level of opacity you want it to bring on you know so it might start you know almost empty you see you can see it there like almost dark and then it fills it on you know so yeah play around with it yourself all these different type animators because honestly there's so many different ones like you can just keep adding them and play them around like twirl on each these are like the crazy ones if you go like twirl off each line and like play that you know you get all these like crazy like microsoft word or microsoft powerpoint things back in the day you know but like if you play around with these yourself and like you know like say like if you wanted to do this really quick instead of really slow you get like a kind of weird thing going on you know but like say like this one yeah it looks cheesy but like if you duplicate this okay so command d okay and it's the same animation but it's above it so if i click the first one here and close your effects and presets and go to character and change this to white so if you go white the top one's white and then the bottom one is red and if you like you know shift the back one over the keyframes so if you press click on the two of these by pressing shift and click the both at the same time and press uu you can get up your, your two animation see like i have to drag this up a bit much because there's too much things going on so if you just press u once you just get the the keyframes you want so if i come to the second one that's the red one okay and if i click on the keyframes and drag them over okay and watch what happens we we'll get you know the white one coming off first and then the red one you know so layer them up play around with them you can do a few different effects you know like this one mightn't be um say like i'm gonna remove the animator right here and this will have no animation so like when that one goes away red is there so it's like it bleeds off so like if you want to add so if you come up here to perfect some presets and i want this one okay the back one to actually you know blur on or you know there's so many different ones honestly i think like like say organic is a really good one and if you press boiling okay this will like boil on watch it's kind of crazy watch so if you play it see it boils up and on you see it goes crazy play around with all these like you know what i mean you can do some crazy stuff you know so i really really suggest playing around with these animation presets and you'll really really get the grips with animation type you know because there is a lot of like i'm showing you like me playing around with it and stuff you know just pick which ones because like i was showing you anime in and anime out but there's a bunch of text ones you see you can see right here there's 3d textures anime in out blurs blurs are good as well so like if i remove keyframes on this see like you get a lot of keyframes with the boiling ones so watch out which ones are using as well so you get a lot of them it's like giving me a lot of keyframes but i don't want these so if you highlight all these with shift and click them all press backspace i'll get rid of all those animations so you don't have to worry about it so yeah i'm gonna get rid of the top one as well and i'm just gonna have the type in red and i'm just gonna add on a blur so see if you come here blur and if you go blur by word okay this will actually blur in see your type really nicely you know you see a lot of people use these on like the subway and stuff for like adverts and so on you know people with bad eyesight and stuff like that you know because it gives you an effect that like things get clear and comes into focus so yeah you can just play around with that and you get like different different types of animation so press command z again and yeah just play around with it like i said you do jaggy as well jaggy's a good one because you can get like glitches do you know what i mean see keep glitching around for you it's a really really good one to know as well so there you go guys that's how to animate some text inside of after effects using the basic out of the box after effects presets so in my next tutorial i'm going to show you basic transitions i'm going to show you like wipes and transitions and really basic ones with the effects and presets panel so guys i'll see you guys in the next tutorial and have a good day bye bye